Hey guys, this is Austin. Are you ready for ultra cheap smartphones? So in front of me, I have the new Moto G4 and Blue R1 HD. What makes these phones interesting is not what comes in the box, but what's actually inside. These are the first two phones that come with ads pre-installed straight from Amazon. So the Moto G4 is $150 and the Blue R1 HD is only $50. The ads themselves are actually not too bad. So for the most part, it's just something on your lock screen. So if you're not interested, swipe it away and it's no big deal. Now if ads really aren't your thing, you can buy the full price versions of these phones. However, you do need to be either an Amazon Prime member or at least sign up for a free trial to be able to get the ad versions of these phones. As far as software goes, there are a few pre-installed Amazon apps, but besides that, you're getting a very close to stock version of Android. And on top of that, it is Android 6.0 Marshmallow on both phones. You know, as far as build quality goes, I think I actually slightly prefer the blue. It, for me at least, is a little bit of a nicer size. And impressively, it feels as tight, if not even more solid than the Moto. There's pretty much no flex in the chassis, even though it is plastic. It feels like a really well-built phone. Something you might want to consider is upgrading to the $60 version of the R1 HD. Not only does that give you double the RAM at two gigabytes, but it also doubles your storage to 16. The Moto G4 is no slouch either. It actually feels a little bit lighter, mostly because it's a bit of a large yet thin phone. So with the G4, you get a couple of extra features. So first of all, you can actually remove the back. And not only can you swap this out with different shells, but this also gives you access to the micro SD card slot as well as the SIM slot. While the G4 does have the advantage in screen resolution, I actually slightly prefer the color on the R1 HD. It might not be perfect, but not even considering it's a $50 phone, the screen is solid. As far as cameras go, the blue has an 8 megapixel shooter, where the Moto G4 has 13 megapixels to work with. There's actually a little bit more detail with the blue image. However, I like the exposure on the G4 more. Um, it's almost like the Motorola phone is kind of like softening the detail a little bit, whereas the blue you're getting just a little bit more noise, however there's just more detail there. One interesting feature of the blue is that not only does it have a 5 megapixel front facing camera, but it also has a flash, which is super weak. That is so soft, wow, that is kind of terrible. First of all, this is way wider and... I mean, I look goofy, but the camera did a good job. Yeah, there's no comparison here. The front facing camera is way better on the G4. Of course, the ultimate test for any smartphone is can it play Pokemon Go? And I'd say it can. <laughs> I didn't say I could. I said the phone can handle it. All right, we got this. I have done a lot of videos on cheap phones, as you guys have probably noticed. However, the thing that really interests me is that not too long ago, you had to pay a lot of money to get a decent smartphone. However, today, we're looking at a $150 or even a $50 option, which honestly is good enough for most people. As always, I will have links to both of these in the description of this video, and I'm curious, what do you guys think about the rise of ultra-cheap smartphones? Let me know in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next one.